On to news just coming in, the Afghan government has called back its ambassador to Pakistan along with other diplomats. Afghanistan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has said that these diplomats have been called back for consultations, quote-unquote. The government of Afghanistan has made it clear that the diplomats will remain in the country until security is guaranteed by Islamabad for its diplomats and staff members. Remember this development coming just a day after the abduction of Afghanistan ambassador to Pakistan's daughter was reported. Our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik joining us live on the broadcast from Islamabad. Anas, what more can you tell, tell us at this point? Absolutely, Molly. The diplomatic route that had initiated just yesterday after the news that broke in uh, of the Afghan ambassador's daughter being abducted here in Islamabad on Friday, that has now escalated and uh, with a decree from the president office of Afghanistan being issued uh, that was followed by a statement of the Afghan Ministry of Foreign Affairs that, that says in Pashto that the Rais or Rehber, uh, that is the president of Afghanistan, has issued these instructions to call back those diplomats and the envoy in Islamabad under the pretext of consultations uh, until quote unquote uh, security is guaranteed to uh, Afghan diplomats and their staff here in Islamabad. Remember, the Afghan envoy's uh, daughter was kidnapped for some hours on Friday. She went missing uh, for about five hours and then she was later uh, recovered from a park. Uh, her ML say, her medical legal report says that uh, she was tortured. The Afghan ambassador has also maintained the same. Uh, uh, she's given a statement to the police as well. The Pakistani Prime Minister has has taken notice. The Pakistani uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs has said that uh, the security of Afghan mission and other diplomatic missions remains of uh, is of utmost priority. But clearly, this matter has now escalated with uh, uh, Afghan side or Kabul taking drastic measures to ensure security of its diplomats by calling back its envoy and other diplomats to uh, Kabul for quote-unquote consultations until security is guaranteed. Remember, just yesterday, the Pakistani envoy to Kabul, Mansoor Ahmad Khan, was also summoned uh, by the Afghan Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, by and large, uh, the reports that have been coming out of Islamabad, they say that the Afghan side is quite satisfied with the security that has been provided, but it looks like Kabul is perhaps not of, that, of the same opinion, uh, contrary to what Islamabad wants to say, and that is the reason this recall has been done of the envoy and other diplomats as well. Yes, Molly. Right, Anas Mali, thanks very much for those updates. Now, just to put things in context, the abduction of Afghan envoy's uh, daughter in Islamabad infuriated Kabul. She was abducted on Friday for a few hours from Islamabad's Rana market. She was assaulted. Her hands and feet were tied when she regained consciousness. Susila is currently receiving medical treatment and reports indicate swelling in various parts of her body. Lodging a strong protest over the abduction of the Afghan ambassador's daughter, Afghanistan summoned the Pakistan envoy to Kabul, Mansoor Ahmad Khan. Afghanistan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs also asked Khan to convey deep concerns to Pakistan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs as well as the Pakistan government. The foreign ministry has explicitly called on the Pakistan government to take immediate action to identify and punish the perpetrators. The Pakistan government has also been asked to ensure complete security and immunity of Afghan diplomats and their families in accordance with international conventions. Pakistan has reacted to the development with its foreign ministry uh, saying that it has beefed up the security of the Afghan envoy and his family. The Interior Ministry of Pakistan has uh, assured a thorough investigation. Uh, the Interior Minister Sheikh Rashid has further added that the matter will be resolved in a day or two. that police is investigating the report of Afghan ambassador's daughter Silsila, which they have given us a hard copy last night, even not last night, today morning at 2 o'clock. And we have registered a case on the request of her against the 365-354-506-34 BPC. And we have interviewed all among these three taxis, two taxis. And whatever the conclusion will be, and we are in touch with the Afghan embassy, they are cooperative. 
Sisala Alikhel has narrated the abduction incident in a letter. A copy of the letter has been made available by the Interior Ministry. The letter signed by Alikhel details the abduction and the violence that she faced. Hundreds of Afghans protested in front of the Pakistan Embassy in Kabul. The protests mark the anger on the ground against the kidnapping of Sisala Alikhel. In a persuasive letter to their Pakistani counterparts, Afghan Women Parliamentarian Caucus expressing despair over the kidnapping and assault. The letter said, if Islamabad wants to end ties, there are, un there are recognized protocols for that. Attacking the envoy's daughter is a gross violation of diplomatic norms and an attack on human rights. Signaling Islamabad's support to the Taliban, the Afghan lawmakers also said that Pakistani officials are rooting for their favorable regime in Kabul. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.